The Samsung Galaxy Note is officially dead. Dead. A minute silent for the legend. Anyway, here is my special tribute to the phone that's changed the way I use Android. In the land of personal digital assistance, in the times when smartphones we are still struggling with 2 inch to 3.5 inch screen. There came the Galaxy Note series. It went big and changed the way we use smartphones. Well, I'll keep that later in the video. But what does the end of the Galaxy Note series, what does it mean? Samsung unveiled the new X22 series. Uh, it became clear that there will no longer be a Note series. What does it mean for the Note series? Is the Note just uh, an X series with an X Pen? Or are there things that we're going to miss? How do we move about that? Is there a better deal with Samsung Note 22 Ultra, you know, the rebranded Note series, if you want to call it that, a rebirth? So if you're ready for this, uh, let's go check it out. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot, and this is a sad note. A sad note that the legendary, the legendary Samsung Galaxy Note series is no more. I'm going to read a tribute to the note later in the video, so you might want to stay back for that. But what exactly is Samsung doing with this move? Uh, there are good sides to it, but there are still um, some bad sides to it. So let me start with the good side. Now, Samsung can now unify the Note and the S-Series and focus more on software enhancement and, and you know, improvement, which we can see with the four years. So if you're getting the S22 Ultra or S22 Series, you're going to get four years of Android upgrade. That is almost matching Apple's five years. And that is good to see. So if you get the Note, uh, the Ultra now, of course, I'll still want to call it the Note. If you get the Ultra now, that means that you're getting four years like Android 12. Now you get to Android 16. That is strange for many Android users in terms of OS updates. But that is the good side of it. But then what is the bad side? The bad side of it is that the Note comes out after the S series. So what happened is that, you know, if there is like a Snapdragon 800, 888, then the Note sometimes in the past used to get the 888 Plus or, you know, the Plus version, uh, which makes it the best. So people stick around Samsung because if you don't get it with the S series premium flagship, you get it with the Note flagship. But I suspected that something would change about Note from the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 because in the Note 10 now they split it into two. The Note, they started the experiment there, the Note 10 and the Note 10 uh, Plus. And then it went further to the Note 20, the Note 20, which probably was very poor, to the Note 20 Ultra. And that is where I started suspecting that oh, it's like they're experimenting. Maybe let's move the S series or the Note series. Let's just move it and make it S series and then move the Note's features to Ultra. I started suspecting it from the S10 and my suspicion turns out to be true. So, but there was no problem with that, but why drop uh, some features from the Note? Because Note is all around productivity. There is that extra feature of SD card that's been dropped. It's been dropped from actually the Note 20, so it's, uh, it was added in Note 20 Ultra, uh, the SD card. But then, um, the headphone is gone. You know, for some of us who are still talking about headphone jack, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'll do a video why it was actually nice for the headphone jack to be removed. Uh, the, you get used to that, you know, <laughs> the world is moving on, so you got to get used to that. But then, the SD card could serve as uh, maybe external storage, but then you are shooting 8K videos, you, you need high UFS 3.1 and above speed to be able to write it without issue and all that. And you also have option for one terabyte if you can cover the money for that. So, that is the downside a little bit to it. So there is no extra features like maybe a overclocked SA, uh, 
processor that will come with the nodes or but it's not too much a downside there's that refinement you know i've always been a fan of android should focus on their software android should focus on their software and improve it because there is so much more in android that have not been fully utilized and thumbs up to samsung for doing it they are doing it right now and i'm loving it i'm really really loving it so I am okay with that. Um, but let me know what you think uh, in the comment section. Are you going to get the note? Are you going to continue to use your Note 20? If you're using Note 20 or you know Note 10 uh, or 10 Plus, are you going to continue until maybe the next iteration of S23 or, or whatever they call it after that, after now? So um, let me hear from you in the comment section. And um, here is my tribute to the Samsung Galaxy Note. In the land of personal digital assistants, at the time when smartphone screen range from 2 inches to like 4 inches, in the year of our Lord, 2011, the legendary Samsung Galaxy Note was born. It went so big, it broke boundaries. It wasn't a phone, it wasn't a tablet, so they called it a phablet. I joined the band of legends in 2012 with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I came in as a power user, but the legendary Note raised a bar of productivity. I can do so much with one Note. The Note changed the goalpost while the game was still on. Never has a product influenced all other OEM like that. Some shamelessly named the copy of their Note, Note. Some started using words like uh, the Pro, the Max, the Ultra. The legend had its staff of authority called the S Pen. The only legacy that remained after the demise of the legend. Everybody aligned this new shift brought about by the Note and what used to be called a phablet is now the norm for smartphone in terms of size. Rest in peace, my friend, the legendary Note series. I made the Ultra prove to be the special reincarnation of the legend that will always be noteworthy. Amen. Let's not forget that the Notes brought revolution in Android and that legacy which is remaining in the S Pen will always live on so thank you that's my tribute to the notes and let me hear from you i want you to write your own tribute to the samsung galaxy note in the comment section let's get to here and let's all note lovers samsung galaxy note lovers come together let's show some love to the samsung galaxy note so until i see you next time <laughs> make sure you subscribe like share this video subscribe i'll see you